What's going on arcade nerds? I'm glad you clicked on this video today because I'm going to show you guys how to save some money. Uh, it involves making your own solution that uh, it compares to a product you can buy off the shelf, okay? And it's a lot cheaper than buying said product or products. Um, and, you know, I can't legally tell you what it is, but you're, you're going to figure it out here real soon what it really is. But, uh, yeah, because people in the past have brought this to light and they have been sued and so on. So, for now, I'm not, there's a few specific keywords that I'm not going to use. But you'll see in a minute what this is and how cheaply you can make it yourself at home. Okay, um, I'm going to make up a word. And, this, and, and the word I'm going to make up is connector washer. Okay? You may already know what I'm really talking about. But I'm going to call this connector washer. See, the connector washer that we're going to make in this video is good for cleaning connections like this. It's good for cleaning sockets like these. It's good for, cl for cleaning harness connections and, and, you know, everything like that. It's, it's a good all-round electronic connector washer. Okay, so let me tell you guys the uh, stuff you would need to make this. And I'll, I'll, then I'm going to go over how much money you'd save in the end, okay? Now, this is just as good as, so, as other things you may find for sale on the market. In fact, it's, uh, I can't say it's the exact, but I'll say it's really close to the exact um, amounts and everything. Now, <clears throat> naphtha. Naphtha you can get for five bucks, at least I did right here. It's also the exact same ingredient that is in Coleman, Coleman Fuel. Coleman Fuel is just a more refined version of naphtha, okay? It's also called white gas, maybe in your country, I don't know. Um, <clears throat> now, this naphtha, I'll, I'll, you know, I'll come back to this. This oleic acid is uh, a, a scientific grade ole oleic acid. I got four ounces of this oleic acid um, on, on eBay, okay? It, it cost me $10, okay? Now, this is baby oil, or, or you can also use mineral oil. Now, if you look at the ingredients of baby oil, uh, you can see that it is, well, I could find it, maybe it's, there it is, mineral oil and fragrance. Now, the fragrance is not needed, but, you know, so what? You can also buy mineral oil, and it'll be, uh, have no scent to it. Uh, and what I did is I got, this is an old window cleaner container, and I want you to look at the bottom and make sure it says, see if you can see that, P-E-T-E -E on the bottom. You can also use H-D-P-D-E. That, that code is here, it's a type of, this, this is for recycling purposes, so the recycler knows what manufacturer, what kind of type of plastic this is. Some types of plastics can handle this solution, and some types of plastics cannot. It'll literally sit there and melt the plastic away. So you want to make sure you have the right type of plastic. <clears throat> now let me explain to you um, what each of these ingredients does, okay? This is the active ingredient. Okay, the oleic acid uh, is also, uh, uh, oh, I think it's called omega-9, it's like a fatty acid. Don't eat this, you can only, only, eat, this, only eat the food grade stuff. This is not good for eating. <laughs> but uh, anyways, <clears throat> this deoxidizes metal, okay? And, uh, and, and if you get a cheaper, you, now you can get the, um, a, a lower grade and it may be red. And that's totally fine. All that means is it's a less refined version of oleic acid. Now, a matter of fact, this is more refined than you really need it to be. Has have any of you used oils or or cleaners that may have a red tint to it? That could be because it was a less refined oleic acid. Now, <clears throat> um, the other thing. So, in other words, we're going to connect. We're going to mix oleic acid with naphtha. And now, the naphtha is basically just going to evaporate away. Gone. But the reason we, ha we, have, we have it at all in the first place is because it's, it's a delivery agent. It's a vehicle to move the oleic acid, because you, you don't want to dump this everywhere, you know, is to move the oleic acid onto the part you're trying to clean. And then this itself evaporates away. Now, uh, the mineral oil, or the baby oil if you want, uh, is there just to leave a thin film 
to, to seal and prevent your, your device or your part from future oxidation. Now, this is not necessary, but I'll tell you some reasons why it's used. First off, it helps prevent future oxidation. Second off, it helps lubricate uh, potentiometer uh, slides and things like that. The wiper, I should say. Um, it, it, you know, it, and even if you're working on, on like, let's say, a socketed chip, it actually helps the chip pull up a little easier, too. Now, those are good things, and here's a bad thing uh, that, that is associated with this oil. And it's associated with many uh, off-the-shelf products. Um, for example, there's, there's one, I won't tell you the, the exact product, but there's a certain, some products use too much of this. And what this does is it attracts dirt and dust and it gets things dirty just on its own because this doesn't evaporate. This kind of just sits there forever, okay? Now, um, okay, so that, that's, that's about it. This was this one I'm going to do. Um, I'm going to mix all this together. Now, what you want to do is we have one quart, or or might as well say a thousand milliliters. Okay, I'm going to open this up. And by the way, this is also 32. I believe it was 32 ounces. It's the same thing. I'm going to pour most of this container in here. I'm going to try to get all of it. Stay tuned at the end of the video, and I'm going to show you how expensive it would be to buy this much product that you're going to make yourself. You'll be amazed. <laughs> Let me let this mix in there. I'm hoping I can fit the entire container because I did some quick math on how much of everything I would need and the whole container would be really nice to fit in here. Ooh yeah, we're fitting it. We are fitting it. Okay, so what I used here is a window cleaner bottle. That's excellent. Okay, so now I have an empty thing here. And I measured out that if I use two ounces of this, so about a half a bottle, that's about a 5% a mixture of the active ingredient with the naphtha. So let's mix that in there. A little bit more. Okay. Now this can be done for a whole another batch. And what I'm going to do here is I kind of like a little bit of a uh, baby oil in there or mineral oil. And I'm going to put one capful. That's it. That's all I'm using. One little capful. Now I'm going to mix this up, and that's an entire bottle. So that's, you might as well say that's about a thousand milliliters. It's about a thousand milliliters of what I call it, conductor washer. Now, let me uh, bring a piece of paper down here. I'll give you an example of, of how much we made and how much we saved, okay? You know what? Screw the paper. I'm going to show it on screen. I'm going to make a little like slideshow looking thing on the screen so you can see how much you could have bought this solution for and how much you just made and the offset of price.
Well, I hope that helps some of you guys out. Um, have a good one. Please, please subscribe to my channel. Give me one of these and so on. Have a good one.